Hi, welcome back. Now that we connected to our database, it's time to create records. It's time to create, put data inside using PHP. This lecture here is going to be really exciting. So let's go ahead and open our co-editor. All right. And we are going to be doing a save as from login, which is inside the folder called MySQL. Let's do a save as here because I want you to keep that data for you. And let's just go ahead and do underscore create. And if you don't remember, hold on, let me just cancel this. If you don't remember, this is where we are. And I, I know you might take a break or two and then come back and not know where you are. So let me just make sure that you know where you are. We were here in the last video here and we made a connection here. Connect it. All right. So we made a connection with a database and we echo something out just saying, you know, we are connected right here. Okay. So now we are going somewhere else. Let's go and do a save as and let's call this login underscore create. All right. So we switch to that page. Make sure that you go to your form and change that action attribute to reflect the new page form underscore create all right because we want to send that data there all right so what do we need here what do we need to start making queries to our database well very simple we're not going to I'm not going here to overdo it let's just make this a little more condensed all right all right, perfect. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to be using a function to send all this data to uh, my SQL. But right now, I'm going to put things on variables. So I'm going to write my query in as text here as a text value for this query variable. This is where I'm going to write my query. I'm going to save it in this variable, and then I'm going to use this variable to submit it. All right, because I think this is a better way of doing it. All right, so <clears throat> excuse me. Insert into this is the command. This is the SQL command that you can type in your SQL query in your uh, my SQL in your PHP my admin, and it will create the same thing that I'm that we will be creating. Okay, so that you can even type this in the command prompt for SQL, and it will do it. So anyway insert into what users is our table and then we're gonna put parentheses here and we're gonna say what do we want to put in there well we have a page here username and password those are the fields that I, we want to be in the database as a matter of fact that's those are the fields that those are the columns that we got in the database we have a column for username and a column for password of course we have one for ID but that's being incremented automatically we don't need to worry about that so we have two columns here and we need to fill them up with some data. All right, so let's go ahead and take it from here and say username. Let's just copy and paste it there. Comma. I'm going to grab it again here. All right. Perfect. So now we are done with this, as a matter of fact. Um, now we got to go to the next line because um, we could put it together here the next line that actually is all in one line but I'm going to divide this since I like to see all my code divided alright and I'm gonna use a that notation to put all this together so I'm gonna put the same variable here and this might look weird to you but I'm gonna make it very clear and we put a dot and a equal sign and what this this is going to do is that it's going to concatenate the this text that I'm going to be putting down here with this line here so it's gonna smash it in together okay so right here like this I just created values all capital you don't have to but this is just best practice all right let's make sure you do and what do I want to put as values so we're gonna insert our data into the username column and the password column right what do we want to, what are our data? What, what is it? The username, right? So we, let's use the variable. Why not use the variable? We can use, use, we can use the username. We can use that, but why? Why are we going to use something? Oh, we can use any text we want here. We can set it into, but we want, we want to be able to set it to what the user types in this field, 
right there. Well, it was there. When we finish writing this, you will see it. And the password would be the next value for this. And let's just make sure we put these quotes around it since they are strings. For the values, we need quotes. For this, we don't because we, these are columns. All right? But for this, these are strings, and they are coming from here. We need to let it know that they are strings. All right? All right, so we are done here with this. And the next thing we do is we um, use a command, a prebuild function called MySQL. I and they have my SQL but this is the old version right so make sure they have this one here my SQL but this is the old version I don't use that I use the newest version always you want to use the newest version and here we take two parameters the first one is the connection so we're gonna take this variable since this variable is equal to that connection and the next one is the query what, what are we sending there I'm going to take this variable. This is why I like doing this. If if I would have used this without this, what I would have to do is copy this whole thing in there and put it in here, all the tests. And I don't want to do that. I want to save everything on the little variable here and just put it in here. It's a lot cleaner, right? All right. So once we do that, um, we need to... I mean, we can send this the way it is, but I want to check on this connection here. So I'm going to create a variable called result I'm gonna assign it the connection now this will work the way it is but with this variable here allows me to do this to check on the query to see what happened to it if it went through if it did not go through so I'm gonna put if not true then I want you to die meaning that I want all commands everything to stop and I want you to display this query failed something like that really ugly right all right so I think we're done here um, if we have a mistake somewhere in, in our code PHP will let us know um, we can also concatenate here this and say my SQL let me see my SQL I error I believe it is there there we go and this will give us an error here all right but I think we are good to go. Let's just, and this is a pre built uh, function too that will give us an arrow here. Uh, just in case you are interested in finding out. Finding out. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. Let's see if it works. All right, so I'm going to create a username called Edsman, and the password will be submit. So uh oh it looks like we did something because that's a good sign we didn't get any errors and he said we are connected so um, all right so let's see let's see what happened all right let's let's have some fun let's look at it all right so let's go to localhost PHP my admin and let's look at it logging app users and to 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 yes there we go if you were able to do it with me congratulations if not don't worry about it just rewind this and get it done do it a hundred times if you have to this is super important all right so with this you can create a login page basically and have people log in to your app and you will keep their information of course you will have to extend it and put some more security on it of course uh, maybe encrypt the password and detect the user on the other side with a cookie or a session. But anyways, you get the major idea here. Hopefully, uh, you're able to to get uh, some valuable information. I'm pretty sure you got some valuable information. But anyways, on the next video, we're going to continue with the CRUD. And we are going to be reading this information from the database now that we created it. All right? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Take care.